What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the QPR series and well it's going to be the QPR series and as you can tell from the title it's going to be a goodbye, a goodbye for now, um, not goodbye for good, I'm coming back for FM14 but I'm going to have a couple of weeks off uh, but I'll explain all of that in the video. The background you'll see this is live so I'm clicking live, um, I'll go through different players, transfers, stuff like that. I did actually record the episode that was going to be the first episode of the season. Uh, but then it dawned on me, one, we're not going to finish the season uh, because there will only be two episodes out, so there's not much point. And two, uh, I recorded the episode and I was tired, wanted to go to bed, and I forgot to test the audio. And I recorded the whole episode talking to myself, effectively. Uh, no audio recorded. So, uh, yeah, the video was made redundant, really. Um, it was a bit of a shame because it was Community Shield Final, it was a pretty good game, but I'll show you the um, stats from it, I guess. But there's going to be no more no more QPR, no more San Marino. Uh, won't even finish the season, I guess, San Marino. I don't have any enough time, uh, but I'll get into that as we go through the video. Now, um, some of you may know, I, I study sports science at college at the moment, so um, that does take up all my time, pretty much. I'm doing that, and I work part-time in a bar. So uh, all my time is taken up uh, working now, uh, either college work or... or, or uh, part-time job so um the college work takes all my time during the day and the bar it takes all my time up because i don't get home until very 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 late so um i don't really have enough time to play fm right now um i've not played fm at all a week normally i'd play i can easily play three four five hours a day when i'm playing you know just just generally playing i can play a rack up a lot of hours so it's, it takes it's a huge dent, uh, a chunk of time that's taken away, so I can't record videos. God, he's been consistent scoring one goal. Um, so that means that I've had no videos pre-made, which is me why I've been missing upload days. Um, and also I've been busy when on those days I've been uploading, um, either with, 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 with various things. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have a couple of weeks off, come back for FM14, the believe the beta or the better, whichever one set, is out two weeks before the game release. So I put that around the 16th. I could be slightly wrong with that date. Uh, I definitely, I probably, well, I'd say 99% chance I will not be uploading the day it comes out or anything like that. It'll be a week or two, um, maybe even when the FM fully releases by the time I get a video out of starting the Leipzig series, which I do intend to do, still do. Um, but I will not be uploading a video between now and then, so two weeks, three weeks, should we say three weeks until definitely not a video. Um, so, this is, well, as I said earlier, this is the end of the series because I'm not, I wouldn't finish the season anyway, so there's not much point starting a season without finishing it. Now, I know I've not finished the San Marino uh, one, but I just, I've lost all the will to live with that one with, with regards to the international team, and that's that's one of the reasons I've stopped because, I've, I've stopped that save, I mean, because... Um, I don't want to play it because I'm fed up with the national team, I'm fed up with the BS in it, but also I don't have enough time to go through half a season. So yeah, here's the Sunderland highlights. Marek Zitsch got a hat-trick, Stefan al and Emiliano Ferreira, the new guy, scored. Sunderland played well, um, to be fair to them, and uh, but we dominated the game, as you can see. 27 shots, 8 on target, 63% possession, 7.61 rating was our average, passing, uh, passing accuracy, completion rate, sorry, was better. Better than theirs, so we completely bossed the game um, and won it convincingly in the end, five three. Um, with the Super Cup against Real Madrid. That's the episode I was going to do next, but then I then it dawned on me, you know what? I'm not going to have enough time anyway to do it. Um, so yeah, I thought in this episode I thought I'd just go through some players. I've gone through the fixtures, transfers. Sorry, I've gone through the fixture for this season. Thought I'd just you know go through players, I don't know really, just, just an overview of what we've done in this series, because easily this is in the top three saves I've done on FM, uh, over, over over all of FMs, because it's been one of the most enjoyable, it's certainly the longest in the sense that I did it from the first season, first day of the game to, to, to now, because I've never done a game that long. Um, interesting news, I rejected a £50 million bid from Marek, from Marek Azucha from uh, Real Madrid. Uh, um, it was 50 million, I rejected it, then they kept bidding, but they were bidding less, which was odd, normally they bid higher, and then he was saying he wasn't happy, so I put his bid, he's priced it to 50 million, and they were saying no at this point, so I was like, oh well, uh, I'm not too disappointed to keep him, and he's played well, so uh, he'll stay. 
Uh, whether or not I'll play any more of this myself, uh, I doubt because I don't have time. Um, but what my plan is, now I said I'm not going to upload, certainly not on the first day of the beta or anything like that, uh, because what, what I plan on doing is building a backlog of fixtures of the of the Leipzig series, and um, that'll probably be a monthly. I'll, I'll follow the similar pattern to this QPR, I imagine, because that's the easiest for me to do in terms of play a month, record an episode, record, play a month, record an episode. Um, so I'll do that, and I'll build like a backlog up, just in case I do hit a very busy period. Um, with stuff, and then I, you know, which prevents me from playing and recording stuff, so I can keep videos coming. Um, but yeah, I, I I do study sports science, which yeah, if anyone knows what sports science is, it's not the most you know it's not the easiest subject in the world. It's not by no stretch of the imagination. It's not the hardest, but it is quite you know you, it does require a lot of commitment to doing it, and all the assignments I've got to do. I mean, one assignment for me. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you do assignments and and, uh, and papers and stuff. But one assignments is 20 pages long. It took me took me six hours, seven hours, to do half that assignment. One of them, because a lot of it is quite. Well, you, you you're writing it. I mean, for example, the psychology side of it. You're writing it, and you're thinking this is complete BS. What you're writing, but you got to get it done because that's what they tell you to do. But a lot of it is complete dribble. Um, but there's a lot of different things in it. Which do take a lot of time to think about and stuff. So and there's all the anatomy. There's loads to it. There is a lot to it. So as you you quickly start to see why it takes so much time up. Um, all my spare time at the moment is is doing just doing those assignments. But that's not really what this video is about. Um, I would easily I would say that this is still I stand by my view that this is the worst FM though uh, they've made in a hell of a long time. I do believe that it is the worst FM. However, however, it has been one of the most. Uh, uh, it's the worst in the sense that I don't enjoy playing it all the time. I, I've not enjoyed playing it um, every time I play the game, but it's been one of the most Hollywood games in the sense that we've had those amazing moments. It's given us amazing moments in this QPR series. Uh, for example, Barcelona, the battles against Barcelona, the Champions League final, although we lost it, uh, the Premier League title win, getting into Europe, what was it, what was it we got in the Champions League final, the Champions League, sorry, uh, by the skin of our teeth, um, you know, these things have added have added to the game, so I reckon the game's been bad, but I think the experiences from it have been very good, um, in the sense that, obviously, the, the drama of it all, which has been good, and it has, uh, you know, it's done, done a lot for... Um, for my YouTube channel, of course, but so um, yeah, that's not really what this video is about. I know, but I was just giving my final because this is yeah, goodbye FM. It's my final review of uh, of FM uh, thirteen. I cannot wait for FM fourteen. It looks really good. Some of the stuff they've included. I really hope they fix some of the silly little bugs in FM thirteen, which I'm sure they have. Um, going in with it, going with a fresh, fresh, uh, open mind into the game, although. To be honest, I've, I, d I really, I'm really sad that this game has been. I've, I've personally have found this game to be so frustrating at times and not enjoyable at times. Um, I'm really sad because I obviously love FM, and I really hope that every game is is amazing. But it's 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 difficult for them when they're making a game every year to make every game amazing. Um, I think so. Of course, they're going to have the odd run to the litter and I think this one was it for me personally I think this was it uh, and I know a lot of people don't have, have not been a huge fan of this year's game um, it's not just me I know there are other people um, but I know a lot of people have enjoyed it um, but I'm saying I'm saying that I've not enjoyed I think the game's been bad but I think the experiences have been good from it is what I've said um, in the sense that the, the, the drama FM14 I think FM14 will be a much better game I'm standing. I'm gonna say that right now. My observations from what they've said about the game. I think. I think there's gonna be. It's gonna be a much better game, much more in-depth game in the sense that it's got the uh, FFP in it, um, which is gonna go a long way to what I'm doing in my Leipzig series. I've mentioned briefly. Um, I think. I think I said something about I'm gonna do it manage a very German way. Now, what I mean by that is I'm going to pretty much try and copy the Bundesliga and what they've done um, using anything. Sorry, damn dog started barking. So what I'm going to be doing with Leipzig is 
copying the Bundesliga in the sense that they're very financially very prudent, uh, developing youngsters. So it's going to be literally, it's going to be like an OCD approach, the the uh, micromanaging approach to the game. I'm going to try that rather than, for example, in the QPR, what I've done and it works very well, and I'm sure a lot of other people do it. I'm saying I'm going to, I would say 90%, 80% of people might play FM this way, which is perfectly fine. I do it myself. And it's very, very successful. It's just, you know, you get three tactics or you know, maybe even stick with one tactic. And just use it every game, regardless of the opponents, regardless of, you know, what the stats show you. So what I plan on doing in FM um, 14 with Leipzig is actually to, to do the opposite. To prepare, my theory at the moment is to prepare a couple of tactics with a style of play. And I want that style of play to be very fluid football. So very much Barcelona-esque. However, those ta that tactic will be manipulated to exploit the weaknesses of our opponents on any given game while keeping our own philosophy of play. Now that will be difficult to do because if you're playing an opponent who is very weak, say, to aerial threat and you're insisting on passing the ball, you've got to come up with a way of potentially playing a passing game up till the final third and then getting the ball into the box in some sort of way to exploit that weakness that's going to be the challenge uh, and also it may not work it may not work it may get, I may get it wrong slightly I will I will get it wrong um, on, on occasions of course I'm not going to get it right every time um, which will just keep things interesting really so it's going to be challenging and then that's not all that's not all my other plan is if possible you know, promote from within in terms of youngsters, regardless of if they've got a poor stats uh, star potential. If they've got, say, a two star potential but have some pretty good attributes to start with, then um, or attributes that are showing some sort of promise, then develop that and really try to use our own youngsters and develop them and use our youth facilities. So, taking a bit of the San Marino, although it's not really worked on this year's because we've had a really bad luck. Taking a bit of San Marino, throwing in a bit of um, of um, cheap skateness by really being really uh, financially prudent, really saving every penny, counting every penny of the club. I mean, there's there's different things. I mean, there's theories on how to be the financially the best in FM that go back to FM 09. Uh, people have come up with ideas. And to be honest, they stand true to, through every game. It doesn't change that much. Um, so what you know, things like things like, for example, you get a budget, wage budget, uh, per week, and that's the hundred percent, and that you should spend eighty percent of that wage budget, leaving twenty percent free, um, because they give you a hundred percent. They give you that wage budget, but they say you can spend that, but you don't have to spend that, sort of thing. Um, so the idea is you don't spend that much money, therefore you make. Are more likely to make profit if you do other things well as well. Uh, things like 48 month transfers, you can do that. For example, if, if you got a player, you go buy a player for a million pounds and you can throw it for 48 months, those monthly installments are going to be pretty much you know worthless. It's not a lot, really, is it? Really, so um, and then if you're going to say, for example, you sell a player for 50 million over 48 months, you can then go and buy players over 48 months for a lot less than that. Say you want to buy someone for 3 million over 48 months. That's not a problem. You can do that because over the every month you're going to make more money. Then more money is going to be coming in than it's going out. So it's things like that. Just, just real business-minded approach to uh, to this to FM14 is going to be is what I plan on doing um, and just micromanaging everything. Um, and yeah, that's it really. Just really following... Dortmund. Dortmund is a big thing. Dortmund's approach, not so much Bayern's in the sense that Bayern always historically spend more money, although they do promote from within, yes, um, but spend more money. But certainly Dortmund, follow Dortmund's approach, um, promote, try and try and develop youngsters, and it should be good. I really am looking forward to doing it. Cannot wait. Um, a bit sad, actually. I'm sad that this year's that I'm finishing now FM14. It's a bit sad. It's been, there's been some good moments, good memories on this game. Although it's been bloody frustrating, but it's been some good memories. Um, I'm not really showing anything right now. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not really you know, showing a huge amount. But I think it's nice to finish. We finally got that title. That finally got that Premier League title. 
and um, I think it's a good way to bow out. So pretty much that's all I have to say until um, I get to say welcome to FM14. Welcome to the Leipzig series. So uh, I will see you guys for FM14.